Have you ever wondered what would happen if the internet went down? I'm not talking like a global outage, I mean just like maybe just in your area, maybe a disaster or something like that happens. Or maybe this has happened to you. There's some crazy stuff going on in the world, so I wouldn't be surprised. But how, if this happens, would you contact loved ones and family and friends? Welcome to the world of mesh communications. This little device here, about the same size as a smartphone, can send messages without the internet. It has a super modern e-ink display, which is always on, and it will easily connect you to the MeshCore network without the internet. Now, MeshCore coverage will vary depending on your location, but there's a good chance that if you're in the UK, Europe, or the United States, you should find you'll be able to access a MeshCore mesh. Now, good news, if you find you're not in a MeshCore coverage area, you can easily buy cheap repeaters like this here, and you can create your own mesh to communicate with friends and family. And then as the wider mesh's coverage area increases, your mesh will automatically become part of the wider mesh so you can benefit from longer range Range communications. So it's quite early days for MeshCore, but already we're seeing quite a lot of users chatting away on this public channel here. So, you know, people experimenting with different things and setups, and it's really cool to see these text messages popping through from other like-minded people in the area. And this, of course, is not using the internet. This is done purely over the mesh. I'm sure a lot of the older viewers watching will remember the old CB radio days where you used to just fire up a CB radio and just start chatting to locals in your area. It was the kind of earliest form of social media. Well, it really reminds me of that. Look, we've even got a jokes channel. Of course, you don't just have to talk to community members on here at all. You can use this purely for private messaging, which is end-to-end -end encrypted, and no one can obviously snoop on your messages or anything like that. And you can just open DMs and just chat away like you would do in any other sort of system like WhatsApp. You can also use a smartphone here, which we've got the MeshCore app running, but you will need to use an extra radio because the smartphone doesn't have the radio hardware built in to access the mesh network. So I really love the concept of small devices like this being able to talk to each other without any reliance on cell infrastructure or the internet, any wired communication. So this is purely wireless. So this is using a technology called LoA, operating in the 868 megahertz band in Europe, and it'll be different in some of the other countries there as well. But it's license free, so you don't actually have to pay for this service at all. So more about the device itself. So Lilygo are pretty well known for making devices like this. They're kind of like, almost like developer um, products where, you know, they're not supposed to be perfect. They're supposed to be kind of like, almost like examples of what you can do with the technology inside. So this uses like ESP32 um, as, as the main sort of processor driver in this thing. Um, but you can see, I love this kind of clear, um, you know, uh, plastic they've got on the back here so you can actually seal the, all the stuff inside. Big battery in there, not actually sure what the capacity of, of that is. Um, you've got GPS in here. One thing I will say about this device is that the antenna system seems to work extremely well. It gets a GPS fix very fast and the lower performance like for the mesh stuff is extremely good actually it's one of the better devices I've, I've ever used in this form factor considering it hasn't got you know, like an external antenna, like a lot of this other stuff we use has external antennas here. But the device itself, yeah, I mean, Scott, who makes the Ripple firmware um, for this, he, he's just been through hoops, I think, trying to obviously get this to work as well as possible. Um, he's even got, obviously, maps drawing on here pretty nicely. Um, you know, compared to some of the e-ink stuff that I've got, I've got smartphones that have e-ink screens. This is not far off the performance of those, even though those are like quite supposed to be quite high tier devices. But with an e-ink display, you're never going to have um, really, really snappy uh, high frame rates. It's just not not going to happen. That's not really the purpose. But the display on this is so vivid. And that is the thing about this. It's just you can read it. Um, all, all, any any light apart from darkness that's another thing that I'll come on to um, there's no backlight and that's a, a real real shame for this device because I feel like if it had a backlight it would be easily good enough to use as a daily driver um, for mesh stuff but yeah, I mean, even the keyboard backlight, it's been disabled at the moment because it's so terrible. There's like a row of LEDs under here that just uh, don't even light the keyboard up properly. So I don't really know what happened there. But um, yeah, Lilygo, if you're watching, you could easily just put in a, 
a display with a backlight and to sort this backlight on the keyboard because you have done this before um, on the T-Deck Plus. We've, this is a T-Deck Plus here. Um, backlight on this, backlight on the keyboard. You know, it looks fine. It looks worse in the daylight actually, but it's kind of kind of fine. So this is a T-Deck Plus. You can use this with MeshCore as well. Um, and yeah, this is probably my main device actually for mesh core. I'll leave that there so you can have a look at it if you haven't seen it already um yeah so more about this device really it's nice easy to use um, you can go into the text messaging quite easily it's not the fastest response in the world but it's certainly not bad it's certainly not bad at all for for an e-ink display again scott has worked on the driver for this to get this um, running as smooth as possible but if you say compare it to um the t-deck here and you sort of just say like you know i don't know what i was saying on that one high response what's that mean but yeah i think i was probably um just on autopilot there you can see how quick that is um in comparison to um the this this pro here it's it's yeah, it's not really pro, is it? <laughs> but anyway, so all the stuff you can do on this um, device, this is the latest version of the um, the user interface. Uh, it's obviously going to be slightly ahead of this T-Deck at the moment. Certain things like we've got um, message display here. So if you tap on an actual message, then you can see the full message in there rather than wait for it to sort of scroll across there. Um, that's something I've been asking for for a long time <laughs> on on this to actually uh, have a display with all the information. Path shows you your path for this particular one. It didn't didn't capture the path there, but um, normally if you're in here and you tap on one of these messages like this, um, then you can see the path that it's come through the repeaters in the system that it's kind of gone through. So yeah, this device. I mean. I really like it. The form factor is a winner for me. Um, you've even got this like um, kind of smartphone-esque uh, sort of SIM card holder, which is where you put the SD card. The cool thing about this as well is if you take the SD card out of this device and put it in this one, then it's just like moving your SIM card across when you're using a mobile phone. So you can use that um, and it will just copy across or just move your data across from one to the other. So you don't have to set up a new device. All your settings and everything else will be um, transported across. Might be slightly wrong with this particular device because these are different, so there's some differences between uh, the two here. But I really love this interface on here. It just works on the ink display so well. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just brilliant. And this there's just something cool about maps like this on a on an e-ink display. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just it's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, that's about it, guys. If you want to know more about this, um, then yeah, just join our Discord. There's more information sort of coming as we're sort of you know finding more and more information about it and learning about this device as well with the software and everything else. Um, what else can I say about it? Yeah, the, the vibrate is pretty intense on this one, so you have got quite a good vibrate alert uh, on this device. Um, it sounds like sort of vibrating phones in films, if you know what I mean. They're sort of really, really aggressive. Um, so at the moment, there's no sound on this. I don't know if that's going to come soon. Again, Scott was having trouble with the implementation impl implementation of that so hopefully that will come soon and yeah check this out guys it's on lily goes website and you can actually order it right now there's it's not like shouting out of stock like a lot of the other stuff so yeah follow along if you're not subscribed already subscribe to this channel for more more stuff like this um like subscribe follow our meshcore youtube channel as well for more in-depth stuff about meshcore and how it all works and i will catch you next time